Hello everyone, I am Sanjay Gupta. I welcome you on Sanjay Gupta Tech School. In this video, I am going to discuss about trigger scenario along with its test class. So let's first understand the requirement and then I will demonstrate you the implementation. So the requirement says when account active field is updated from yes to no, then we need to update all related opportunities stays to close lost if stays is not equals to close one. So if I take you to the org, so if I open any account record, so on account under details, you will see one pick list that is named or labeled as active. So if it is already populated as yes, and you are changing it from yes to no, right? So old value will be yes and new value will be no. So in that case, once you make your account inactive, like from yes to no. So if, if there is any related opportunity and on that related opportunity, if stays is other than closed one, so you just need to mark those stages as close lost, right? So let's say here we have four opportunities and all the stages are like qualification, perception, analysis, value proposition, and qualification. So all these uh, stages should be converted into close lost automatically. Once we update the account active field from yes to no. So this is the requirement that we need to implement. So we need to write trigger on, trigger on account because we will be updating the account record and uh, after update will be the event because we are going to update the related records and here i am going to implement or i am going to call a method so account trigger handler dot update related opportunity stage and uh, we just need to pass trigger dot new and trigger dot old map right so trigger dot new will be storing the new state of the records and uh, trigger dot old map will be storing the old state so now i'm going to open account trigger handler so at the bottom i'm going to implement the code so I'm going to copy the first statement because it will be almost same. So I'm just going to copy the method name as well. So this way public static void then update related opportunity stays uh, method is defined. It will be receiving trigger dot new in ACC list and trigger dot old map in old map. Now inside this method, first of all, I'm going to create list of opportunity. Naming it as OPP list, then new list of opportunity now i am creating a set as well set of id equals to acc ids new set of id right so this way a list is created and a set is created now i'm going to implement a loop on ACC list. So inside this loop, I'm going to just check whether the account which is updated and which is available in this ACC list. So whether that account active field is updated or any other field is updated because whenever you update something on account, this trigger will work and trigger will be calling all these methods one by one. So we just need to validate like if that active field is updated from yes to no then only we just need to run this code so here i'm applying if condition so if acc dot active is equals to no 
and now I'm just using oldmap.get acc.id dot active underscore underscore c double equals to yes. So what is happening here? This acc dot active underscore underscore c, this is the new state of that updated record. If it is having no, and old map is getting the account ID. So we are passing acc.id as key and uh, this key will be fetching the associated value. And from that value, we are fetching the active field. So value is equals to like account record, whole account record. So from there, from there we are just uh, getting the active underscore underscore C field. And if it is equals to yes, it means old value was yes and new value is no. If both are matching, in that case, inside this if condition, I'm just going to use acc IDs dot add. So this is a set and here I'm just going to put the IDs. So if this condition is matching, then only ID will go to this ACC ID, otherwise not. So this way, uh, through this loop, all the account records will be filtered and uh, uh, only those account records IDs will be available in this set on which we need to work further, right? So what you can do, it may happen like uh, there is no account where you updated this from yes to no. So before implementing the further logic, what you can do, you can just apply a null check as well. So you can write if not ACC IDs dot is empty, right? So this null check, uh, you can apply and inside this, you can write the code, right? So here I'm writing for loop account ACC colon, then select ID comma active underscore underscore C. Then here I'm writing inner query so that I can fetch related opportunity as well. So select ID comma stays name from opportunities. So this opportunities is child relationship name. So we are querying account along with related opportunities. So that is why I'm writing it like this. So after this, I just need to write from account where ID in ACC IDs. So those account records will be queried whose ID is in this ACC IDs and those account records will be querying their related opportunities as well. Now here I can apply if condition. So I just need to check if ACC dot opportunities not equals to null. It means if particular account is having any related opportunity, then only we need to proceed further. So this I am solving with the help of parent to child SQL. So we require one more loop. So it will be iterating on opportunities. So opportunity OPP colon then ACC dot opportunities, right? So ACC will be providing all the opportunities one by one for each account record and those opportunities will be processed through this loop. Now inside this loop, we just need to check the existing stage. So if OPP dot stays name not equals to closed one and OPP dot stays name not equals to closed lost, right? So if this condition is matching, then, so I'm just shifting it here. So if stays is not equals to closed one and stays is not equals to closed lost. So if opportunity stays is not matching with any of the value, then we can just assign close loss to that opportunity. So OPP dot stays equals to close lost, right? Now I can just add this opportunity into OPP list. 
So this way I just implemented the solution. Now we just need to check whether this is ending. So here it is ending. So here I can apply one more if condition, if not OPP list dot is empty. If it is not empty, then we can just update OPP list. So this way, this trigger method is implemented. So I just saved it. I am saving trigger as well. Now I am jumping to this account and here you can see. Uh, so I am just selecting yes first and saving it. So earlier it was none and then I just selected yes. So there is no change in the opportunity stage. Now I'm moving here and now I'm going to change it from yes to no and I'm saving it. So this time trigger will work. And if I go to related list, so here you can see all the opportunities stays is set as closed lost automatically because this trigger fired, right? So this way we tested it from the UI. Now we just need to implement the test class so that we can verify it from uh, there through code as well. So on account, we just need to implement a test class. So public static, or we can write private as well, private static void. Then we need to just test this one. So I'm just copying the method name and applying test, right? So here, first of all, what we need to do, we just need to create some account and then we need to create some related opportunities. And then I will be updating the account from yes to no. And then we'll just need to query the opportunities whether the stays are updated or not. So I'm going to take help from previous code. Okay, so I'm just copying this data. and pasting it here. So what I did, like I just created ACC list, then uh, through this loop, account records are being created. So here we just need to set active as yes, so that later on we can modify, right? Now here we just inserted all the account records. Now after inserting account record, we just need to create opportunity records as well. So I'm just going to open opportunity test class. From there, I will be copying this piece of code and pasting it here. So opportunity list is being created five times it will iterate. And uh, here, what I can do, I can just iterate on account list because for each account, I want at least one related opportunity. I'm going to iterate on ACC list. So this ACC list, which is uh, right now like inserted. So I'm iterating on that. Then opportunity is created. Name is this, stays, close date. Amount is not required. So as of now, I'm just erasing it. Now I just need to link this opportunity with particular account. So here I just need to write acc.id. So we are iterating on account list. So one by one account will be available into this ACC variable. So its ID will be assigned into account ID and then opportunity will be added into OPP list. Then I can just write insert OPP list. So this way with this code, we just inserted accounts. With this code, we just inserted opportunities. So each account is now having one opportunity associated. So I'm iterating on account once again. And here, account active field, I'm changing to no. And after this loop, I'm just going to update ACC list, right? So all the account records which we created here will be updated and uh, active will set from yes to no. Now, I just need to query updated opportunities. So I'm just creating updated OPP list and going to select ID 
and uh, stage name. So you can see like earlier stage name was prospecting. So when now I will be querying the opportunity. So it, it's stay should be closed, lost. So from opportunity where ID equals to OPP list of zero dot ID. Right. So from this OPP list, I'm just querying first opportunity so that I can verify its current stage. So its previous stage was prospecting. Now I'm going to apply system dot assert equal. And in this assert equal, like I'm expecting value should be equals to closed lost. And here we can see the actual value. So we just need to write this of zero dot stays name, right? So this way we are going to compare. So there's a problem variable does not exist. Okay, so here is I. So instead of this, what I can do, I'm just concatenating account name, right? So this test class is implemented completely. Now I just need to run this test class. So I just clicked on run test. So here you can see all the tests are passing. If I go here and just see the code coverage for this method. Okay, so it is not covered. Why so? Uh, because this condition is not matching. So here, okay, something is not done correctly. So we just created account and uh, active as yes. We inserted account list and opportunity is being created. And then we updated account list from yes to no. So this should run. So I think the issue is this method is not executed yet. So I'm just going to run this test again because this method is not available in these uh, test methods which are executed. So I'm just clicking on run test again. Still okay, got the issue. When I implemented this, so I just forgot to write his test here. That is why this method is not treated as test method. It is treated as simple method. So that is why it is not included. So I'm just clicking on run test again. So this time you can see it is included because number of methods are 11. And if I expand, so here you will see that method. Yeah, last one, update related opportunity stage test. Now, if I go here and check the code coverage, so you can see all the lines are covered completely, right? So this was my bad, like you just need to write at the rate is test every time. So why it happened? Because I just copied. So at the time of copy paste, you just need to be aware with these errors, right? So I hope this way you understood like how we can implement this trigger scenario and uh, how we can implement its test class as well. Thank you.